is online. The conversation between tech billionaire Elon Musk and former US President Trump on social media platform X had Trump talking about everything from illegal immigration, the assassination bid on him, to Kamala Harris, we're not surprised, his Democrat rival in the race to the White House. Take a look at this report. Three hours, 998 million views and four million posts. The Elon Musk-Donald Trump conversation on social media platform X broke records, provoked reactions, and had the former US president be his quintessential self. After a 45-minute delay owing to what Musk said was a major DDoS cyber attack, the interaction on social media feature spaces had Donald Trump cover ground on various issues dominating the US presidential elections this year. Hitting out at President Joe Biden and his Democrat rival Kamala Harris, Trump said that she has as low an IQ as the 81-year-old Biden, adding that Biden's exit from the race is nothing but a coup by his own party. You know, Biden uh, did something with Russia. I thought he was doing that to negotiate. But then Biden started saying such stupid things. For instance, he said that uh, it can be a NATO country. and. We go right up front and say that. And we did things and said things through this president with a low IQ, very low IQ. He had a low IQ 30 years ago, by the way, but now he might not even have a IQ at all. There is no, there's nothing on the board that goes this low. On the assassination attempt on him, Donald Trump admitted that he believed in God even more now. He did say there's a guy up there with a gun the shooting started very quickly after that. I think it forced the shooter to go maybe quicker. It was supposed to be a very... My sons, Don and Eric, they can't believe what happened. They said from 130 yards, a bad shot would hit that target almost every time. They said it's like in golf, yeah. sinking a two-foot putt. Yeah, it's, it's not a hard... It's not a no, tough shot. It's not a, it's um, not a long shot. One of the interesting things was that you didn't have anybody flee. You didn't have anybody stampede. Sure. Nobody. And there were some people behind me. They stood up and they're looking like, I tell you, you want to have yeah, you yeah. want to have them in a foxhole with you. I want to meet some of those people. But what happened is the firing is very soon. So what yeah. they think is that this guy ran to his site, which he had all planned out with a gun. He ran to the site and he started shooting fast. And maybe that's why he was missed. He, yeah. he, he got me, but he it could have been... Could have been a yeah. much bigger problem. But he totally would have hit if you hadn't turned your head. There was a, it was a very near thing. It was so, a miracle. If I hadn't um, turned my head, yeah, I would not be talking to you right now. As much as I like you, exactly, I would not. Yeah, I would <laughs> well, not be talking. Yeah, be talking to me from another round path. Yeah, that's um, right. We'd be talking from a so. different place. Biden actually did something that was impossible. Both Donald sides, Trump directly hit yeah, out at Middle sides. Eastern and African countries when we Musk began. asked him about illegal immigration a subject that has divided Americans and led to widespread protests across the United States in the past year, adding that these countries are opening their prisons into America and sending in criminals. I believe it's over 20 million people came into our country, many yeah. coming from jails, from prisons, from uh, mental institutions, or a bigger version of that is yeah. insane asylums and many are terrorists. And I'll tell you what, they're, they're coming not just from South America, they're coming from Africa, they're coming from all over the world, they're coming from Asia, yeah. they're coming from the Middle East, they're coming from countries that are stupidly and horribly bombing Israel October 7th. I hate it, but you have a lot of people that just shouldn't be, I think it's a much bigger number than you think. They're allowing, again, right, they're yeah. allowing people from their jails. And if you were running one of these countries where they're coming from, you would have had all of them. But this is a massive scale because this is being done worldwide. But here's what's happening. Crime all over the world is down. And wait till you see the numbers that we have. These, this is migrant crime. Even as the two wars continue to rattle the certainty and stability of the world, the Republican asserted that if he were the president, neither the October 7th Hamas attack nor the Ukrainian casualties would have happened. He said things that were so stupid that that, that, war would been, that war had zero chance of happening if I were there, zero chance. He was saying everything yeah. the opposite, everything the opposite. And 
it's so sad because many more people have been killed in Ukraine than you read about. You don't read about how bloody it is and how disaster. Sure. Hey, look, just in the two armies, you lost a half a million people. But if you think about it, uh, Russia's gone, you know, Russia defeated Germany with us and they defeated Napoleon. You know, they've been around a long time. They're a big fighting force. Yeah, sure. And it's very unfair. And Ukraine now doesn't have enough men. They're now using young men and very old men to fight. And it's it, we're in a very bad position. And I'm not going to blame exclusively, but I can tell you I could have stopped that. And a smart president could have stopped that. It wouldn't have happened. Even though the conversation has garnered a lot of reactions, several observers say that it is Donald Trump's reducing popularity in opinion polls that forced him to engage online. The must-Trump interaction marks Donald Trump's return to X after nearly a year. Elon Musk has now invited the Kamala campaign on spaces as well. Whether or not she joins a businessman who is publicly pro-Republican remains to be seen.